This example shows how to calculate the operating pressure of a condenser that just condenses all of the vapor. In this example, we have a vapor that has 70% water and 30% ethanol, and we have to turn it completely into a liquid. So let's draw a PXY diagram of what's going on. So on the y-axis, we'll plot the pressure, and on the x-axis, we'll plot the mole fraction of ethanol in the liquid and the mole fraction of ethanol in the vapor. We can plot the vapor pressures as well. So ethanol, pure ethanol will be on the right here where mole fractions are 100%. So this will be 0.97 atmospheres. And we'll plot some point down here for pure water of 0.38 atmospheres. And if we just assume ideal behavior, we know that the water ethanol system isn't ideal, but if we assume that it is, the PXY diagram will look something like this. So we start off with, say, 30% ethanol in the vapor. So again, low pressure, vapor. At high pressure regions, we have liquid. And we start at 30%, so we're somewhere in here. And we want to condense it completely to the liquid. And that means just increasing the pressure until it's completely a liquid and we're at this point. And the only trick to this problem is to realize that this line is the bubble point line. So if we're on the bubble point line, we can then just apply Raoult's law. And Raoult's law says that the total pressure is equal to the mole fraction of one component times its saturation pressure plus component two times its saturation pressure. So in this case we'll call component one ethanol. So we'll say we have 30% ethanol times the saturation pressure of ethanol which is 0.97 plus X2, which is water, so 0.7 times the saturation pressure of water, which is 0.38. And if we do this math out, this turns out to be 0.56 atmospheres.